Hi and welcome to the best of IP Mat series. Today's question is a question from number system. Uh, a not really classic question, uh, which, which is a very, you know, typical question that we have a, a ready-made formula for and apply and get to the answer. We will have to think of our feet in this question. Okay, so before we go to the solution, try your hand at this and then uh, we will see with the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. Okay. So what have they said? They want us to maximize the ratio, highest possible ratio of a number, a four digit number. Okay. So it's actually a four digit number upon the sum of its digits. Now, this is what we want uh, to maximize. We are asked to maximize. Now, just thinking of our feet, uh, four digit number, if the ratio has to be maximized, the numerator obviously has to be as high as possible. At the same time, the denominator has to be as low as possible. Correct. So, if, the, if I have to think about the highest possible numerator in a four digit number, then it's going to be 9, 9, 9 and 9. Correct. And that's the highest possible number. But if I take this, my sum is going to be a big number. Sum is actually 9 into 436. Okay, so it's triple 9 by 36. Correct? Uh, that's, a, that's, that's a possible value. Uh, but what we have done here is we have focused on the numerator and we've, uh, you know, we've raised it as, as much high as possible. Uh, what if we try and decrease the denominator as much as possible? Some of the digits we get as low as possible. What do you think is the lowest possible sum of the digits? Okay. Uh, if I have to reduce the sum, do you understand I have to reduce the numbers that I have to add? But I can't really reduce the number of numbers because it is four digit number anyway. So I will have to have four digits. But if I take my individual digits as zeros, they will not really contribute to the sum. Correct. So do you understand that sum uh, let's say lowest possible sum will be uh, if I have two zeros, three zeros, four zeros, I can't have four zeros because it is then it will be number itself will be zero. So I can have a maximum of three zeros. Correct. So those will not contribute. But if I have now the fourth number as one to maximize uh, the though to minimize the sum, it's going to be one plus zero plus zero plus zero. And with these digits, the maximum sum that I can make is only 1000. Correct. So 1000 upon 1, the answer is going to be 1000. So that's one possible value. Okay. Uh, let's say if you try to maximize the numerator, keeping, let's say, three zeros in the denominator. Okay. So if I keep three zeros in the denominator, then the maximum possible value of that digit which is left is 9, correct? So if I take my number as 9000, it is going to be 9 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is going to be 9, which is again giving me 1000. Correct. And if you look at your options, I'm not really sure, frankly, if this is the best way or not really best, but if this is the foolproof way of doing. Okay. So had I not been given the options, I would not have been really sure of my approach of my answer. But because the options are given and the highest possible option is 1000, I think this method works. Okay. So I have got 1000 as my answer and that should be our option. So I hope that is clear. I, we could have obviously done 1000 upon 1. That would have also been true. Okay. Uh, and 9000 upon 9 is also giving us that same answer. The ratio is still turning out to be uh, 1000. So yeah, that's the question for today. Uh, try your hand at a replica question and don't forget to uh, you know comment the answer. We will see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning and all the best.